have been superintendent of Indian Affairs under President Monroe and President Adams. Good man. Rest assured you'll continue in that work in my administration. I suppose you'd be wanting a job in the government, Mr. Robinson. No, sir, that's not why I came. I came here to present you this. Oh? Oh. Well. Sir, these are the pistols carried through the revolution by General George Washington. I think it's only right that you should have them. Mr. Robinson, how would you like a job in my administration? It'd be a great honor, sir. You should be my superintendent of Indian Affairs. Thank you, sir. Well, General, that's 690 replacements. 690? Adams replaced only two in four years. And even Jefferson only moved about 40. Mr. Van Buren, people made me president so that I could reform this government. You know, I kind of see it as bringing in new blood. Men who'd never have a chance like this. Actually, it's a good move politically. I don't know anything about politics. All I know is a new broom sweeps clean. We've been doing it in New York for years. Why shouldn't it work in the national government? You give the people their jobs and they work to keep you in office. It guarantees your power. People are the power. While I'm in office, I'll stand by them. What's more important, General, they'll stand with you. <laughs> 